How can farmers generate wealth in today's society? The truth is, were we really educated in wealth creation? Good day, viewers. Welcome back to another episode of Investor Lifestyle Jamaica. Our quote of the day is from Rick Ross that states, The amount of persons you bless, that's how you measure success. Firstly, by doing raw material production, a primary production is highly risky. Only a small amount of persons are wealthy in that area. And this wealth is basically acquired through inheritance at times. And by wealth I mean the abundance of valuable financial assets or physical positions which can be converted into a farm that is transactional. Wealth should be sustainable. Mm. So back to our farmers. The so majority of farmers who are either middle class or poor. After this video, you will decide which category you fit in. We will focus on farm, how farmers can move towards wealth creation. And I'll give basically nine steps. The first step that we want to analyze or even discuss briefly is being more efficient. And viewers, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me repeat, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Step one, being more efficient involves recycling, repairing, reusing, reducing wastage, managing your input costs, having an excellent documentation system where you can track your expense, so being more efficient is the first stage of for anyone that wants to become successful. Step two, creating value-added products. There are various value-added products or areas that you can add value to your farm, such as manufacturing, distribution, and sales, tourism, other events. So creating value added, it's a way that we can use to generate wealth on our farm. Manufacturing of goods and services involves the processing of goods from raw material stage to finished stage with longer shelf life, example using waste from livestock to convert into compost or potting mix. I write using the tomato to make tomato juice which can make the Bloody Mary cocktail. And these tomato juice can use in the hospital for sick persons, persons in the infirmaries, or in the golden age home. And similarly we have blood on the market that can be exported to nearby con countries such as Haiti. Fruits from different trees and crops can make essential oil that makes soap. For the beauty industry. Annually, we have, we have a lot of wastage in terms of cassava, sweet potato. Those can be used as animal feed. So these are things that farmers can get in. And they are low-hanging fruits because persons can start within the homes, just as the cottage industry. And the cottage industry situation is, is great right now due to the fact there's a pandemic where you can use a few persons such as families, to work in a house, even though it has a disadvantage as compared to the larger factories that, that are mechanized. But the cottage industry is an, is an era to just start. So we're looking on ways you can start small and you can scale up to realize wealth creation. For You can do wealth creation for future generation. It's all about investing now, making sacrifice now for future gains. The next era is distribution, storage, and sales. This is one of the best ways to generate wealth to lower risk and it has lower risk factors. So a person with better or lower risk tolerance can get in this era. But this era is basically you buy, you store, you sell. Quite easy. Check out Amazon. Alibaba, those are some of the companies that does 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 distribution. Uh, Misfit is a new U.S. company that worth one billion U.S. So farmers can move goods locally and overseas. So you can start buying 
products from farmers and moving those goods. Then eventually you can scale up to an exporter, exporter. The key thing into becoming successful in distribution and sales is to be fair and honest with purses. You can judge an individual by, by his principles. So that sound character comes into play. The next on the list is creating agritourism linkages and events. So you basically a creation of an agritourism theme park or sport complex with golf course, shooting range, horseback riding. These are kind of concepts such as fishing on the farm, swimming on the farm, hiking on the farm, camping on the farm. So it gives the visitors an area that they can come on the farm, wine and dine, eat, participate with the available food that's there. That's something that farmers can explore. And as I said, the key thing is starting small. So agritourism, linkages, and events. Another year for persons to tap in. Football fields requires and golf course requires skilled landscapers on a farm. And I'm gonna follow up with that era soon. Because that's an era that has not been taught or preached wide enough in the agriculture sector. Floriculture. Turf management, horticulture, and landscaping. This is a valuable area in our tropical region. Architectural designs, green designs, all right? Exporting flowers for overseas markets. Studies have shown that persons who participate in floriculture, turf management, are less likely to become poor as compared to persons doing the cash crop who have no control when there's glut on the market. So you can look at all this, look at how you can improve golf course, improve football field. Successful football nations have quality turfs. The whole a ball rolls and the efficiency of the movement of the ball depends on the turf available. People they are spending big bucks our big money on that so that's an era that you can tap in turf management landscaping and horticulture so explore it team remember like share comment leave a comment contribute to your discussion our fourth era we'll be looking at is nutraceutical the good book states the plants or the herbs are for the healing of the nation and there is a plant that can heal every and any sickness or ailment. Believe you me, we have the remedy for it. So this area is an area where farmers can get in. You can start small as well and look back on some of those medicinal plants that can help us to have a healthier and a wealthier society. So backtracking on the different areas, being more efficient, creating value-added products, turf management, landscaping, horticulture, nutraceutical. Tell me what you think, guys. Leave your comment below. The next area we'll look at is a year that I love. Innovate or die. So innovation and creation. In creating new items that can solve everyday agriculture problems, such as creating up a pesticide to deal with adverse pests or economically important pests. Creating of agriculture items that can hate crop development. Creation of machine that can enhance labor. Or reduce labor costs because labor cost is very high. Labor, labor costs, along with chemical inputs, can run you 60 to 80 percent of your farm budget, which is extremely high for third world countries. So, innovation and creation is needed. So, look in apiculture, this involves bee production and the value added aspect in apiculture. It is tolerant just as open field, 
However, the value added component is in great demand. But this area is going to be explored. Followed by orchard production. Orchard production, if you are not wealthy, your kids can be wealthy, your grandkids can be wealthy. All you need to do is plant fruit tree crops. Plant fruit tree crops. And an acre fruit tree requires almost 30 to 50 plants on an acre. So you can plant it for your grandkids. That they will always have something to live off. Agriculture cooperatives. This area is unique in a way, but it's like a bank and a financial club, which would help farmers with crop insurance, help with capital startup. Farmers can use that system like a round robin or partner where they can show their money and have a draw that can provide needed capital to inject in their business to give them a good start. So but remember, people, please leave your comments below. As farmers, we need bargain power. If you are united, you have better bargain power. And as a cooperative, you this can help you along the way. Cause you can have negotiate, you can negotiate for low cost of inputs. You get tax assistance and social benefits, grant funding. It's a critical area in terms of to develop the skill to write for grant funds and get low interest loans from banks commercial banks. All you need is basically a good business plan and an off-take contract which can show the banks that they should invest in your business idea. Finally, before I leave, I want to encourage all persons, diversification, variety is the spice of life. Diversify your portfolio. Our culture is high risk, do something that's low risk as well. That you can fall back and rainy days the hurricane seasons so real estate it's an excellent area during the pandemic house prices land prices appreciated there are different areas in construction you can get involved so diversification of your resource is key remember regardless of how it goes in life life goes on remember to like share comment and subscribe only if farmers just leave you only with this only farmers are united they will have stronger bargain power one love many blessings